Uh, good morning, everybody. I am Manuel Sanchez. Uh, why I'm here? Because uh, in Spain we have a commission uh, related with uh, Geodesy and Geophysic. And I'm a member of the section of Geodesy with Marcelino. I'm a member of this section and I'm secretary on behalf of my institution that is the Royal Observatory of the, of the Spanish Navy. Uh, there I work in, in Geodesy and I'm working the SLR station. Uh, my presentation, as I say, study is, is focused in, in the capacities of Geodesy in Spain. Uh, was related with the work of a, a group team related with the proposal to a new GIGOS affiliate. Um, this is the introduction I will follow. Um, an introduction and um, um, uh, a resume of the recent topics in, in our region. Uh, we follow with infrastructure, the technical development, etc. Um, I will finish with a critical analysis of the geodetic context in Spain and as well uh, uh, some conclusions. Uh, well, Spain is, is placed in a geodynamic, geodynamically uh, complex uh, situation in the north of the Strait of Gibraltar, in the confluence of the Eurasian and the African uh, plates. And also have uh, two archipelagos in, in the Mediterranean and also in the Ocean of Atlantic, and cities in the north, and cities and a small island in the north of Africa with uh, unique. Uh, unique uh, geodesic uh, characteristics. Uh, the station of the state of Gibraltar uh, to the, to the uh, west, uh, uh, we can follow the uh, Authority Street projection where the two previous uh, plates uh, conference with the North American uh, plate. And this complex uh, scenario uh, uh, make a rise uh, some uh, events uh, related with this discipline in, in our country. Uh, for example, uh, in recent years, the earthquake in Lorca, uh, with a magnitude of, of five, but uh, especially destructive. And also in, in 2021, the, the, the volcanic activity in uh, La Palma Island, or uh, also recently uh, the droughts in, in Murcia, in Spain. Uh, this topic is also here from our colleagues uh, from Portugal, but uh, due to the consequence uh, that also have in, in Spain, I like to, to, to remark in, in my presentation, uh, because uh, this earthquake uh, was the first uh, event uh, whose effects over a large area were scientific uh, uh, studies, uh, making the foundation of a modern uh, seismology. Uh, this event uh, was characterized by a long period of uh, almost uh, 10 minutes, uh, reaching a magnitude of 9, uh, uh, causing uh, several uh, consequences in the city of uh, Lisbon, practical, practically destroyed, and causing like uh, 100,000 casualties. Uh, the epicenter of this event was uh, 300 kilometers uh, far from, from Lisbon and produced a tsunami uh, that reached the coast of Spain in Huelva and Cadiz. Um, that's the reason because it's important also for, for Spain. It's interesting, it's interesting to mention that uh, there are records of previous earthquakes in 1321 and uh, 1531. Um, that's the reason uh, if this period is uh, uh, followed nowadays, uh, we could find in, in a period of uh, a high seismic, seismic activity again. Uh, talking about this uh, region and the activity, uh, how not to, to talk about the recent uh, news in, in, in Morocco with the uh, with the uh, aggressive uh, earthquake in, with the epicenter in Marrakech, uh, who caused uh, at least uh, 3,000 3, casualties. Um, the uh, uh, 
uh, expert scenes that uh, this kind of uh, earthquakes can can reproduce in the future. Uh, this is the reason because in Spain uh, had uh, considered like a risk uh, uh, a future tsunami in the coast of Huelva and Cadiz. Uh, for this reason, Spain uh, are developing uh, uh, plans uh, for early warning uh, that allow to take reaction in 45 minutes uh, before the, the waves are arrived to the, to the coast. Following the, the infrastructure in, in Spain related with uh, geodesic uh, disciplines, I, I like to, to start with this survey of organization working on, on geodesy. Uh, there are at least uh, 33 institutions related with, with uh, geodesy. Uh, for 14 of them uh, related with analysis capabilities or scientific research. Other uh, 11 uh, with, uh, supporting infrastructure, um, eight of them with both capacities. Uh, moving on to the potential EGO score in Spain, uh, I would like to remark that there are uh, two uh, main centers, the Jeves Observatory uh, belonging to IEN, and also the Royal Observatory of the Spanish Navy. And there, are, there is a third additional observatory under construction in, in Gran Canaria. With all these observatories, uh, Spain will have the capacity to, to deploy uh, the main uh, disciplines in geodesy like, uh, like SLRR, Google BI, and um, uh, GNSS. Related with this previous slide, I would like to remark uh, the collaboration project with our colleagues in, in Portugal, uh, with this project called RAEGEN, uh, that the main topic of this uh, project, as, as said uh, before for uh, Jose Antonio, is the development of four fundamental geodetic stations, uh, two of them in Spain and two of them in Portugal. Uh, the first uh, two observatories are uh, working now, is the Yeves Observatory and Santa Maria Observatory in Portugal, and two more under construction in Gran Canaria and Flores. Along with BLBI, uh, in Spain's game more importance, uh, the SLR, uh, there are three uh, stations in Spain dedicated to this discipline. Uh, the, the first one is in, in my observatory in, 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 in San Fernando Laser Station. Uh, we have an extensive experience uh, since the first station in Spain, uh, deployed by a collaboration with CANES uh, in 1968. And now we, we are one of the few worldwide with capacity to track uh, space debris. The second one is Ithania Laser Station uh, that is placed in, in Tede Observatory in Tenerife. It, uh, it's operating since February 22. And finally, uh, the Yeves Laser Station, that is a brand new station with, uh, uh, will have uh, all the new and more developed uh, uh, equipment in this discipline and will be operative in the 2024. Moving on uh, to the rest of the of the rest of disciplines in geodesy, I would like to, to continue with GNSS. Spain has a dense uh, network of, of stations, of permanent extensions, with almost uh, 23 networks. Uh, it translates to numbers in uh, 350 more or less stations. Uh, 10 of them belong to IES and 40, 43 to UREF. Talking about gravimetry networks, uh, there is a, a, a network uh, uh, leading by EN, EN, IEM. Sorry. Uh, is uh, is way in 130 stations uh, measuring uh, gravity uh, absolute gravity uh, measurements in different points of the, the surface of Spain, and is completed with measurements of uh, of relative measurements 
uh, around uh, 31,000 uh, in different points of Spain. In addition, uh, there are two superconductive gravimeters in Rijker Observatories in Jeves and Gran Canaria. Uh, talking about leveling networks, uh, there is a red, uh, that is called RedNAP, that is uh, coordinated by uh, the IGN. Uh, it's a high precision leveling network, network that uh, supports like a reference frame, uh, like a vertical uh, frame for, for measure different uh, points of the surface in Spain. Uh, it has uh, more than 30 signals measured with high precision instruments to materialize the vertical reference frames and support mean difference in vertical datum around 11 uh, centimeters. Uh, in Spain, also, we have a network of tight gauges uh, that measure variation in sea level and water surface in ports and coasts. Uh, the main reason of this equipment is the sign of coastal infrastructures and management of natural fields. Uh, we have a total of uh, 76 uh, tight coaches. Uh, 11 of them uh, are coordinated with uh, receiver, receivers of GNSS. Uh, the, the vertical latum in Spain is placed in Alicante, and, and also we have local vertical latums in the islands. Moving on to the technical development, uh, I like to, to remark the prominent place of Jevons Observatory uh, because it's one of the five technology, technological development centers of the IBS. Uh, also, uh, they, they are developing a high performance broadband VIGOS cryogenic receiver model. In second place, I, I would like to, to say again the, the extensive experience of, in SLR of uh, the Royal Observatory of the Navy. Uh, having both uh, capacity to track both uh, trackings in collaborative objects and also space debris. And I would, learn, would like to remark also the, the important works of the universities in Spain, like Valencia, Cadiz, Granada, etc., working in photogrammetric techniques, developments in aggressive environments like in Antarctica, and also in natural disasters using drones, seismographers seismographs and acerographs. Talking about the application and service in Spain of these disciplines, uh, there are uh, several disciplines related with the products of, of geodesy. Uh, in Spain, is, is they, they are developing by uh, public entities and also for, for company, for private companies like topography, cartography, the formation measurements, georeferencing, etc. And I, I would like to, to give some examples. Uh, for, for example, this one application in real time position and service uh, that is coordinated by the IGN uh, based on two, 245 stations uh, and is coordinated with local networks uh, around Spain and is used for uh, like uh, 8,000 users in, in Spain. Other application uh, uh, recent in, in Spain is the, the monitoring of uh, volcanic activities in, in Las Canarias. Uh, this slide shows what happened the previous days of the, of the eruption. Uh, in the right side, you can see some variation on the train in the different components of the GNSS receivers in, in the island. Um, was the explanation of, of this event, uh, the, the, the eruption that occurs uh, some days uh, after, between September and December, who caused uh, like uh, 3,000 3, buildings destroyers, 74 kilometers of road destroyers, um, an estimation of damage of uh, 900 million euros. Here you can see the, the variation in the trends, especially in the north component in some of the Genesis receivers, uh, reaching up to 20 centimeters in some cases. Uh, moving on to the research projects in Spain, I, I would like to, to show in this uh, slide a uh, represent, representative of three institutions uh, relating with the others in Spain. Obviously, uh, they are not the unique uh, 
institution in, in this field, but uh, I, I would like to show these different uh, three institutions because uh, the, the kind of, of, of them. In first one, the IEM, uh, that is a, a institution of public service, uh, the University of Alicante, a teaching and research uh, center, and finally, the, the Royal Observatory of the Navy, like a scientific center. Uh, they, they have been working in different uh, fields like volcanic resurveillance, GNSS and meteorology, uh, okay, etc. Uh, uh, giving an example of an uh, international collaboration projects uh, where this kind of institution are involved in international, I'd like to, to remark the Galileo project. Uh, working in two different uh, uh, ways. The, the first one is the Galileo service operator, uh, where Royce participates in together with other European laboratories of time, uh, provi providing uh, a, a precise reference of time uh, for this project. Uh, among other institutions is the INRI in Italy, the Observatory of Paris in, in French, the PTB in Germany. And also the second way of this, of this project is the uh, HEMO project, where uh, the IGN and the ROA is collaborating in the definition of the uh, Galileo Reference Center uh, in order to, to perform a monitoring support of the, the system. Uh, Spain also has participated in, in the uh, in the labor of joining the, the community, uh, organizing, organizing different uh, workshops in recent years in, in different techniques like ILRS, BLBI, etc. And finally, I, I we reach to the to the main uh, slide of my presentation where we can uh, reach a, a critical analysis of geodetic contesting in Spain. In, in our work uh, to, to, the pro to make the proposal to the Geo GIGOS affiliate group. Uh, we have analyzed uh, five uh, main points, the infrastructures, the infrastructures, sorry, the project development, the training of our geodesics, the communication between uh, uh, institutions and, and the organization. Uh, without going detail in, in any of these points, I will remark some of them. Uh, for example, like uh, important strengths is the technological development, as I said before, and also the impact of geodesy in the society. Uh, like uh, I like to remark some weakness, like uh, the lack of coordination between our some of the, of, of our institutions. And fundamentally, the lack of uh, legislation uh, related with, with your dossier. Uh, talking about the threats uh, in our discipline and in similar others, uh, the, main, the main problem is the shortage of funds. Um, looking to the future, I, I like to, to focus on the opportunities uh, uh, with uh, five, five main points. The first one is the lack of infrastructure we have in Spain. The, the capacity to exploit the potential of the other discipline that we have, uh, the, the exchange program uh, we have to train the, our students in, in the community. Um, uh, we are involved also in, in shocking news, like uh, we say, uh, that, sorry, as we see uh, at the beginning of, of the presentation, because we are in, in a really, really active uh, area. And finally, the conclusion of this, uh, this work is uh, the, the synergies that we have uh, to, the synergies that we can find with uh, another country as Portugal uh, to, to have, uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I missed my idea. <laughs> I, I would like to say that uh, uh, finding synergies with Portugal, uh, we can uh, solve uh, some of these weakness and potential our, our strengths. And this is uh, this are my, my conclusions on my presentation. In Spain, we have a deep relationship with the Odesi, linked with all the Odesi disciplines. Uh, there is a significant commitment uh, to technology development in numerous institutions. 
Uh, your decision of, is a fundamental discipline with numerous applications and service in the public and private spheres in Spain. And also, her decision has been promoted by the realization of numerous scientific projects carried out by institutions of different kinds. Uh, that's all for my side. Thank you very much for your attention.